Hey guys, welcome back to Planet Zoo. If you're new here, my name's Zekin or Zekin, and I make videos on mainly simulation, creative, sandbox type games. And right now it's mainly Planet Zoo, so uh, so yeah. So today we all finally get our hands on the highly anticipated for Aquatic Pack DLC, and it's just we finally have diving animals in Planet Zoo, and it's just pretty crazy to say. I want to give a big shout out to Frontier for giving me early access to the DLC so I can fiddle around with some stuff, and I was able to come up with the Aquatic Center. So, today we're going to be heading into the Aquatic Center, I'm going to be showing you around as well as all the new animals. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and also comment down below what your favorite animal is from the DLC, and yeah, sit back, relax, and... Enjoy the video. So we're in the live portion of the video right now and I'm going to be taking a look around everything I did with this aquatic center so yeah. So by the way the aquatic center is most this whole place is mostly based off of a zoo in Germany which I'm not going to be saying the name because I don't want to butcher it but uh, I'll put up a picture of it right now and you can see it's pretty much like the front is pretty much the same is what I ended up having over here and I'm just really really satisfied with how it ended up turning out in the end of the day because of all the different angles and basically I use mostly art shapes I use art shapes for all the different shape stuff and uh, yeah so we finally got the art aquatic pack and it's just it's just so amazing so so up front here we have like the different aquatic animals you would expect to see in the center over here so we have the penguin the seal the otter and the caiman over there and it just this looks pretty cool so let's head down i closed off the zoo that's why a lot of people are coming out right now um because i just want to look through without having any problems so yeah as you can see you can see the like the different shapes and i use like the thin pieces to make this place look like tiles and stuff and then sink these are the new plants we got in the aquatic pack by the way and also these lights as well and i sink them in and they create this really nice like i don't know what kind of plant this is but it just looks pretty cool as well as um the fake the fake recolorable rocks that we got with the aquatic pack which are amazing so so yeah so Let's let's head up over here, and you can see that's the entry over there. And before we get there, let's just look at everything. So this is the aquatic center sign, and below it is one of the stuff the signs we got from the aquatic pack. And I just thought it looked pretty cool putting it over there. And then yeah, we have a little ramp over here with some decals, like some of the new decals we got. From the aquatic pack and i just put place down um one of ricey's maps over here because i didn't really have the time to create the map of this whole place but i just thought it it kind of uh works with what i was going for so yeah so we have another decal over there and uh let's let's just head on into it so 
by the way this whole build i didn't really do any interiors for it because obviously like i said i didn't i was like time limited so um i just mostly did the most part of the zoo is basically outdoors and uh yeah so to our left over here we have uh these uh ticket booths so i hid an information booth over there so when guests actually come in they can actually walk up there and actually use it as if it's actually in use and by the way these are some of the other new decals we got with the 1.4 free update and we got a bunch of different vents over there so this thought it came out pretty well i'm really really happy how it came out so on the floor we have of course for the times we've got social distancing markers so for when guests are on the line but obviously they don't, they don't really follow through but uh yeah these are the penguins over here the penguin decals over here and then let's just let's just enter in so we can see a caiman decal over there and I got another map from the workshop because obviously I couldn't make it to here. And if we head here, you can start to see this whole place. Like you can start to see the new, well, I didn't really measure it, but these are the new fake rocks we got. It's also in the front. Let me just head back to the front. Like this, all the rocks over here are the new recolorable rocks. So just thought I'd mention that and just, they just look pretty cool. Like. They are my oh, <laughs> they are my favorite rocks in the game right now. Obviously, they're gonna be a lot of people's favorite rocks, but but yeah. So over here we've got the dwarf caimans. So you can we've got three in there right now. So you can see we have their underwater kind of habitat along with like this fake. I just love the new rocks. Along with fake rock work at the back over there making it look like it's meant to be like kind of giving you like a jungle vibe but not really but i don't know what you, if you guys get that but yeah so apart from, so we got the caimans with the information board over there and over there and then if we head down here we've got ourselves the terrapins so uh, the diamondback terrapins so i don't know if we can get any views okay look at one over there just chilling <laughs> look at one over there just chilling over there on top and i've actually seen them kind of swim in like a kind of loop in and in a loop inside the exhibit and it just looks pretty cool <laughs> and i'm just really happy with how it, they eventually turned out because we this is kind of like laying the foundation for any future aquatic stuff we may be getting hopefully i don't know so so yeah so uh over here on top we've got like some of the new lights and if we turn ourselves here you can see the new plants and pots and then the <laughs> the oasis cafe once again <laughs> The Oasis Cafe strikes again in the Aquatic Center and I just thought to bring over the franchise here since it's just a really, really cool thing I've had in multiple zoos already. So, so let's just, let's head on to like the more interesting, well, the more things that many of you guys came to see. So, we got a steel statue over here, which means we're getting closer to... The seals, oh, not, they're not in their indoor part yet, but uh, yeah, this is the seal enclosure, and this whole place is basically like the open, open up like exhibit area for like the different animals and their habitat. So let's look at the seals. So look at, look at, oh my gosh, look at the seals over there. They just look so cool. I just love, love how they dive and everything. It just this looks pretty pretty cool. So look, oh yeah, you can get to see more. And they they wobble, and oh, we're just really getting really cool views of them right now. They're just really nicely done. Although their uh, traversable area is a little bit finicky, 
which is understandable because they are mostly like on their bellies but uh, they just look pretty cool and cool i think is an understatement they're just amazing so yeah but not enough of the seal love if we turn ourselves to the left we've got the otters the giant otters look at two sleeping over there oh one is oh waking up and we've got the giant otter exhibit over here which is kind of like the sunken exhibit and i just just really really happy with this fake rocks ah like all the fake stuff fake rocks we got they just add a whole nother depth of customization and realism to the game in terms of naturalistic environments so so yeah so this other exhibit has like a little creek to the side and then just basic like foliage work and it just looks pretty cool and thought it came out pretty well so so yeah so if we head down here if we head down over here we can get see underwater views of the seals oh we can see one over here oh. underwater views of the seals swimming in the water i guess it's a bit let me change the light direction because right now it looks kind of murky so yeah okay so if we change the light direction you can see you, you could get a clearer view into the seal habitat this looks pretty cool oh okay i'm waiting for one to dive down but if we don't get any we'll have to move on and by the way that is like the fish feeder over there that's the fish feeder so they actually go over there grab some fish with their mouth and then yeah oh yeah see you can see the action kind of over there so yeah so if we turn ourselves to <laughs> if we turn ourselves to the left we can see we've got the penguins and i'm just so in love with the penguins they are like my favorite animal with this new pack and i just love the way they're animated and way they're like uh they like swim through the water and i basically use the fake rocks and make the different colors and they came out pretty pretty well so here you can see we have we've got some of the new vents on the sides over there and then over here we're standing on the new path texture we got it's one of the, like from the aquatic pack which is like this caustic water effect reflecting kind of thing so so yeah let's go look more into the penguin habitat so you can see we've got the king penguins over there most of them are in the water right now swimming in the water but this is basically the penguin habitat so i use a bunch of like the fake rocks and recolored them to kind of like this whitish bluish oh see one walking over there so i recolored them to like this whitish bluish kind of thing to make it look like um like snow because they're like in the they, mo they live in Antarct Antarctic regions, so, so yeah, so just thought it came out pretty well, so, okie dokie, so, if we look ourselves here, we can get more views into the otter exhibit over there, oh, <laughs> to the otter exhibit, and they just look pretty cool, and over there is the tunnel that leads to, like, a backstage area, in which the, um, keepers place their food and stuff like that but then the otters can actually also come out here as well so so yeah you can see we've got the penguins just swimming through the water and then um by the way this like the railings are like at height level so you can actually get to see a bit of like the penguin swimming over there which is really cool and especially kids, I'm sure when kids like walk up here, and they can get real, they're, they're the ones that will be getting a lot of views over there. So, so yeah. So for the last exhibit, I just decided to put in the polar bear. I have one polar bear in there. And so I just decided to put in the polar bear because this whole place is kind of like this 
Arctic, Antarctic kind of um, animals we've got going on here. So I just thought it'd be pretty cool to add in the uh, the polar bear, and it also has its kind of kind of like underwater viewing. Even though the polar bears at this point, right now, they don't really dive in the game. They just kind of like on the surface of the water. But uh, just thought it came out pretty well. And just put it over there. So, so yeah, that's basically really most of the zoo. And over here, we've got just a momento, and I hit in like the the stall in there. And then this is the other side. I imagine if I had actually did an interior and whole like big thing. This would be where the other side of the Oasis Cafe will come out to with the outdoor seating. And uh, yeah, just came out pretty well. So if you head here, this is more seating and more shades and more views into the the otter exhibit. So, so yeah. So I just thought it came out pretty well and just love, really awesome, really love this new pack we've got is definitely a game changing one while building this whole place i didn't really feel like it's planet zoo it kind of felt a little bit like a different game but uh but yeah you'll you'll have to see for yourself to understand so so yeah uh over here we've got like the gift shop and then like the diff the weird shape stuff and this is basically the exit of the aquatic center so if we head out here this is basically the exit where you can head back okay so in order to actually prevent these seals from escaping i put these spikes over here so this is what i actually saw in the reference in which they put the spikes on the on the pole and it kind of like prevents them from like climbing out because these are like sharp points so yeah okay so here's an overhead view of the whole place and i'm just really really happy with how it turned out because this took me basically just like four days i had four days and i completed everything i needed to do and i'm just really 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 proud of how it came out so so if you're wondering why the water is really like so blue that's because with the update we got it like the water is now like a tint of blue and also um i kind of like the base of the pool i colored it blue which is something i see many zoos do and i just thought i implemented to make it look a little bit more blue so you can see like the different animals swimming around the penguins swimming around and oh one thing i forgot to point out um these ice blocks over here they um i hid used i hid coolers under them so one thing zoos actually do is that they just put blocks of uh, oh well one thing zoos actually do is that they just put blocks of ice around here in penguin habitats so in like temperatures and climates that are not like natural to penguins when if you put zoos put in ice there so penguins can like sit stand on the ice and feel cool and have a bit of coolness and also, by the way, the um, the water is cooled because of the new update we got, and we got like the new like water temperature stuff. And yeah, so so yeah, I'm just really really happy with how this place turned out. So yeah, I feel like I say so yeah a lot of times. Anyways. The Aquatic Pack is out now on Steam, so links will be in the description below. And remember you need the Planet Zoo base game before you actually get the Planet Zoo DLC. I'll also upload this to the Steam Workshop very soon in the nearest future so you guys can actually explore and check it out. So look out for that. So uh, so yeah, once again, big shout out to Frontier for sending me over the early access and allowing me to like fiddle around with the pieces and I think you guys are gonna love this pack as much as I do and uh, even though the animals are not that many we know we've got diving in planet zoo right now 
so uh so yeah be looking forward to a cinematic short video which will be showcasing the aquatic center as well as the new animals we got and yeah if you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not and we subscribe be sure to turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever i post anything new and a link to my socials will be in the description below and also join our our discord server the link for that would also be in the description below so yeah see you later guys and until then bye for now